Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Vlog and today we're opening part two of my incoming piano box mail. So, first thing first, pick out a tea. I already said it in part one of this um, PO box opening video is that I'm not feeling great because I think I'm pretty sure I forgot my medication yesterday I take antidepressants for my anxiety and if I forget that I feel like crap I feel very dizzy so I'm not and I also feel like I'm getting sick <laughs> so um yeah <laughs> i'm not feeling great but i'm really hoping to make this video entertaining for you nonetheless if you haven't already please go watch part one of the no opening video because there were some really really fun and sweet meals in there that i already opened i picked out a tea while i was talking i got this one from isra i'm adding sticky notes now so that i can remember which one i got from who because as you can see i received so much tea and this one says skin purify uh and i could definitely use that because you cannot see my face right now but it's it's not good i could use some skin purifying i have no idea what is actually in here but um for ingredients please see box so <laughs> is ready you're gonna have to tell me what i'm drinking and then okay so i already opened the first five i'm going to open the second five and then also the paper game box but i'm going to do that in a separate video so let me grab the first one i can reach this one from it says k from canada and i will have to figure out what the k stands for um first of all this really pretty colorful blue envelope from like i said canada i really love this watercolor design in the back it's really really pretty it is already open but i did not actually look at the content yet so that's what we're going to do now together um i quite like by the way she made this envelope herself i really really love this paper she used so oh i can see some stitching oh and i see shaped paper clip with a little llama I think this is her letter. Yeah, it definitely says letter. So I'm going to read that off camera. But I can see that she did some stamping on there, which is so, so cute. And then this, I think this might actually be a stitched flip book. Or this is a card. Did you do the stitching? Did you do that yourself? Or was that part of the card design already? Oh, wow. I really wonder. That's really, really cool. So it's like like how do you call this it has like a little peeking hole <laughs> i want to do that for mail now it's such a cute idea and then you open it and you open it and on the inside i think you doodled this yourself i think this, you did this yourself with very pretty sparkly watercolor it says have an amazing day and then this floral doodle that really matches the rest of the card and then this sparkly can you see that it's like shimmery shimmery watercolor which is really really cool i also quite like your uh your hand lettering here tell your stories own everything that has happened to you don't leave anything out it's all good stuff well i definitely share my stories i think <laughs> so that really suits me and then here it says gifts oh, i have to figure out by the way because i i don't know how to call you i'm just going to look at the end of the letter see what is your name oh it is her name is Kirby. Okay, now I can properly introduce you. This is lovely mail from Kirby from Canada. And then there are some gifts in here. I think you definitely did the stitching yourself. That is so cool. It looks really, really cool. And that it definitely gives a really nice handmade touch to the card. I really like that. And in here we have a very um pretty um and, and sticky notes which i can use for the tea again but they're actually too pretty on this very large tag i really love the watercolor design on these definitely some of the prettiest sticky notes i've ever received and then a little clip out says things i love to talk about and things i avoid talking about <laughs> i cannot wait to read your lovely letter i really look forward to getting to know you a bit better kirby and thank you so much for this wonderful mail really really pretty card and of course the llama paper clip just going to pop that back in i always read the letters at the end of the PR books opening which is also why it's always exciting like i always it feels always like i save the best for last because afterwards i get to know all of you which is really really nice and then i'm going to grab this one because 
Okay, I'm going to grab this one from Gabriella because in the first part of the meal opening video, I already had part one of two. So I'm really curious to see what is in here with this very pretty um, blue envelope. And I do have to admit, like I said, I already opened it, didn't look inside, but this worries me a little bit. There are glitters here. So I'm afraid it's going to be a glitter explosion when I open it. No, it's okay, it's okay. Oh man, oh, you actually made this. Wait, I wanna take this out without showing too much of the letter. Aww. We have some very, this is the letter, so I'll put that upside down. And we have some very beautiful vintage of, um, book pages. Oh, you stuffed it with goodies. Oh, we have, oh, this is another one. She also put these in the other, other, the part one of the meal. These are like floral quotes, which is really, really cool. And then also this beautiful, beautiful, um, this color, by the way, I absolutely love this color. This beautiful bookmark, which I absolutely love. It has the word dream on it with gold foiling. And you know I love flowers. So, oh, there's so much here. I don't know where to start. I'm just going to put this aside. My cat is scratching the couch. Excuse you. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, okay. We have this tiny envelope, which you also made with one of those vintage book pages. I love the theme going on here with the gold and this color minty green i'm just going to open this envelope see what is inside and this is definitely where the glitters come from Ooh, oh oh wait now i get it these are all i don't know how to call them but they're like sort of sequins but in music notes shapes and i found them i found a few of them on the floor i was so confused i didn't know where they were coming from now i know they are in this envelope and they're all different ones different musical notes this is so beautiful this is really pretty I, I could definitely glue them on something or put them in shakers really pretty i don't know what is up with my cat in the background she was sleeping peacefully all day until now that's so cute i've never actually seen like music note uh sequence before it's really really cool so i'll definitely tre treasure those and then this looks like she made it from a newspaper, which is really, really cool, like a cartoon or something. And there's something quite heavy in here. I'm going to try and carefully open that. Oh, it's a bracelet, I think. Oh no, it's a, it's a, oh my God. Oh, that's so cute. It's actually a little, uh, how do you call it? A locket? Can I open it? Oh, it's a little clock. Oh my god, that is so cool. There's a little clock here, and then this this sort of bracelet thing that says tea time. I think you made this yourself. Excuse you. My cat is being annoyed. That's so adorable. Tea time, that's so cute. I really love that. And then this little locket, this little clock in here. So cute. That is adorable tea time. That's so, so, so applicable for um, my channel. And I just realized now there's also a little note in here. It says, I found this at the thrift store and thought of you. I hope you like it. I also broke it on accident, so I had to fix it. Sorry. You broke it? I didn't see that. Mm, I think you fixed it quite all right because I do not see anything broken here. That's so adorable. That's such a good thrift store find, by the way. And then we have this, and I immediately am drawn to the salted caramel tea. No! What are you doing? Salted caramel tea. I've never tried that. I have tried this brand before. A pumpkin chai. A pumpkin spice... A, oh, 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 wait. I tried a pumpkin spiced tea from this brand before, and I did not like it, so I will have to see if I like the salted caramel, but it does sound quite amazing i'm going to have to put a sticky note with your name on it and then oh you, you decorated this so nicely it's like a little see-through that's such a coincidence like i just i just realized that i want to make a card with a see-through element and then i have another one it's like you guys co coordinate all of these things and then um, i think this was actually here but it let loose Exit down. 
So there's like a little window and then we have this really beautiful washi tape samples. Thank you so much. I'm definitely going to put these to good use. And then we have a wax seal here with a dried flower in it. That's all so adorable. We have something here as well. Oh, some pretty stickers. These are really pretty. This one is my favorite. That is so cute. I love all of it. I'm definitely, definitely going to use everything uh, or put it in my craft sash to use at a later moment. But I really, really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to send me such a sweet, sweet mail, Gabriella. I cannot wait to read your letter and uh, to try the tea, of course. After this one is from the Netherlands, which is really cool because I rarely receive mail from the Netherlands, I think. This one is from Australia again. We have the Queen. And then this one is from the UK. I think this one is a letter. I have not opened it yet. This one is from Stephanie. I think this one is a letter. So, yeah, this is a letter. I will read that off camera. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I really love the paper you used to make that beautiful, beautiful envelope. And I cannot wait to get to know you a bit better. And then I'm going to open this one from the from Australia. I wanted to say from the Australia, but that's of course wrong. This one is from Mrs. D. Abel. I will have to figure out who Mrs. D is. <laughs> but again, a beautiful Happy Meal sticker. Absolutely love these. And then what I also realized later on is that it says happy birthday here. So you did, that's like, oh, that's so sweet. And then she also did this really cool thing with like, I don't know, inks or watercolor, where she left a label out and then she embossed all around it, if that makes sense. And then she decorated the envelope with such pretty elements and stamps. And of course, a pretty waxy with two kitties. And my cat is going wild. Oh, there's something big in here. Oh. Oh, what a cute card. It's like a rainforest card. Let me put that aside for a second. A rainforest card. Oh, and this is actually her notes. Okay, I will have to... Oh, it's from Debbie. Aww. Okay, I, I, I will keep that closed because I, of course, don't want to show your letter. But this is from Debbie. Thank you so much, Debbie. And then, whoa, we have a whole pack with goodies that I'm going to open right now. I'm trying to do the to make the video shorter because sometimes people say Vivian please do shorter videos but I feel like I still talk a lot and I don't even care because I mean I want to talk about this pretty stuff and we have these two cute tags one that says thank you and one oh kiki k one with these cute little dots on it we have a some sort of a vellum um, envelope with these pretty pretty sakura leaves on them and then I think some stickers in here. Oh, oh, she gave me some of those Happy Meal stickers. Yeah, I'm actually really, really excited about that. I always love stickers, but these are really, really cool. I've wanted these for so long. Thank you so much, Debbie. And then there's some other things in here. Oh, these cute little... Uh, star-shaped puffy stickers and these adorable kitties and um, butterflies but i especially love the happy meal stickers which you probably already guessed oh i have to check on the tea mm. oh it's still a little bit hot oh it tastes quite nice I, I i recognize some of the flavors but i cannot quite identify them yet so cute little baggie with stickers. Then we have oh, a little envelope, uh, like a, how do you call it? Like a DIY envelope from Kiki Kai, if I'm not mistaken. This is so cute. I can totally use that for happy mail. And oh, some more of these pretty items. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. Happy birthday, your limited edition. And this, um, this bee or wasp one. It's so pretty. All we have is now a little postcard and then this little, oh, a little night card. That's so adorable. I could totally turn this into like a little booklet. That's adorable. And actually, something in here, I don't know what it is, but something in here smells really nice. 
I don't know if it's your stationery, but something smells very nice. Maybe you sprayed some perfume on it. And then we have a recipe for rice pudding. I actually love rice pudding. We often buy it in the store, but I've never thought of making it myself. Definitely going to try that. The only question I have is, can I use regular rice? Because I remember my mom made it once with like special dessert rice, but I don't know if that's like, if you really need that, but I'm definitely going to try that. Then we have another one of these cute magnet book page book bookmark clips so adorable it has like a little a fat little giraffe on it and you can also see its bum on the back it's adorable and then we have these note cards with australia on them wow look how colorful I recognize all of them i think yeah cockatoo cockabara and uh, this is like a parrot or something snake of course kangaroos koala alligator <gasps> these are really pretty such pretty on papers wow uh, so pretty thank you so much debbie i cannot wait to use all of it and i i i really wonder what it is that makes your meal smell so nice <laughs> it it's not the tea that is for sure because the tea has more of a herbal scent scent this has more of a floral scent so i really wonder if you have a i don't know <laughs> if you sprayed it with perfume or something i remember doing that when i was a kid i would spray notes with perfume oh and there's a cat sticker flag where did you come from little guy so cute and then we already are at the last piece of meal which is this kind of fat pack package from let me quickly take a peek from suzanne from the netherlands like i said first of all i absolutely love this idea she I think what she did is she used a coloring book page, colored that in, then cut the shapes out and then used them to decorate the envelope. So I think that is so clever and also don't you love these stamps, I absolutely love them. I wish our international stamps were as beautiful as our, uh, our uh, national stamps, but I'm just going to take this off, stupid sticker. Um, but these are absolutely my favorite, I have them myself as well, but I i'm afraid to use them and then this little guy on the back that she used to write her address on i'm just going to check i can take all of it out at once whoa whoa what a big package it's quite heavy as well we have this envelope that says goodies oh i love how you decorated that with the vintage stamp vintage paper really cute then is this no is this letter writing paper oh my god i love it wait look at that it's like letter writing paper with a cute little kitty on it and it's two of them even <gasps> that's so cute i cannot wait to use that and then oh my god that's actually what makes this so heavy you sent me all of this beautiful letter writing paper thank you so much suzanne let me see if i can carefully flatten this to show you all first of all this is adorable with like a little what is it actually a, a bird a pigeon or something oh and he's doing various things pigeon and a snail pigeon peaky bonjour bird yeah i don't know if it's a pigeon i don't know why i called him a pigeon but it's a fat little bird and he's absolutely adorable i love your uh letter paper stash so far I have an absolute obsession with letter paper. Then we have this envelope with butterflies. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I feel so spoiled. And then these are also really beautiful. They have like, I don't know if it's like actual vintage, but it has vintage drawings on them of like a, a very fruity garden. Oh my God. Oh, they're different ones. This is really beautiful. And then this one with the beautiful floral flowers. It says Yannicka. Oh, I think this paper, at least this one, might be from, what is her name? The designer that also does the, the I'm really bad at this. That does the Libella agenda, I think. That's so pretty. Absolutely love it. And then we have this one. Oh no, that's, this is the one from the Libella agenda. The Marjolein, Marjolein Bastin. I have more drawings from her because, she has such 
beautiful drawings. Oh my gosh, I really love everything. Thank you so, so, so much, Suzanne. I cannot wait to use all of this. So pretty and so much as well. I really feel spoiled. Let me put that aside and then we have here, uh, oh, we have um, a shaped paper clip and some pretty vintage drawings again from birds and these pretty flowers and these pretty flowers. Oh, I love it. And these and some parrots. Oh, parrots on the back as well. And these also really, really cute. Cannot wait to use them to make pretty nail. I haven't allowed myself to buy any more vintage books, but I really do like that. And then we have tea, a letter and goodies. So first of all, the letter envelope is also really pretty. If you decorate it with different paper scraps and then some washi type and then these vintage looking stickers and it says wake up and smile. And I think I'm just, I'm not going to show the letter. I just want to take a peek. If you used some of that pretty writing paper as well. Yeah, you did. Oh yeah, oh, this is so pretty, look. Really, really pretty. I'm very excited to, uh, to use that myself. So I will read that off camera, of course. Then we have tea and we have goodies. I'm going to open tea first. This envelope also really, really cute. With the scalloped edges. Ooh, ooh, a, a new clipper one. A bag of our organic Earl Grey tea. I did drink Earl Grey tea, but I cannot remember actually trying the one from Clipper. Really nice, thank you. And then this one, chamomile herbal tea. I always love that. I haven't tried this brand before, but chamomile is definitely a good choice. <laughs> and now I'm going to open the last envelope that says goodies. Although you already sent me so many goodies. I really like how you decorated this as well. I feel very spoiled. Uh oh. Oh, it's tearing a little bit, but I can still use it, I think. If I tear this off, then you have the sticky side underneath. And then, ooh, wait. Oh, that's so cute. We have a, 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 a beautiful, I think, Monstera leaf postcard. Really, really cool. And then we have a kitty postcard with like a, a, a holographic design on it that's so so adorable <laughs> little kitty and then some kitty notes the kitty tags you know i love that <laughs> really adorable we have some more tiny letter writing paper from hello kitty that's so special and tom and jerry and this one also from hello kitty wow that's actually too precious to write on so adorable I never actually had Hello Kitty as a kid, but it just brings back I like a feeling of nostalgia. Mm, just looking at it, I spilled some tea because I'm clumsy. Mm. But did you guys see how I managed to spill tea without spilling on the goodies? I'm very proud of myself. But okay, the tea is actually quite nice. It's not... Mm. When I see something like skin purifying, I'm always afraid that it's going to be very disgusting, but it's actually quite normal, normal good tea. <laughs> and then we have these little kitty in a cup, sticker flags, and these, what is this? Like little, little cards? <laughs> like a kitty listening to a disc man. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, more. You actually managed to fill a whole bag with... Also, I, I get it now. This is all filled with cat themes because, of course, Tom and Jerry is also a cat. And then we have Hello Kitty. And then these cute little sticker flakes. More kitties. And some vintage-looking uh, stickers as well. Wow, Suzanne, you really spoiled me. I cannot wait to read your letter. It'll be quite fun, actually, to read a letter in Dutch because usually all the PO Box mail is in English, of course. Um, you absolutely spoiled me. I'm so happy with all of the beautiful, beautiful items. Um, you're going to have to let me know where you found all that letter writing paper because I'm, I, I shouldn't buy more because I've I'm on a no spend, but I love finding new places where I can buy letter writing paper in the Netherlands. <laughs> so if you want to let me know, I would be very grateful. And um, yeah, thank you all for watching this video, for sending me 
this lovely meal and um yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit the notification bell if you want to be the first one to watch my new videos and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you in the next one bye bye